your protection from COVID-19. That's the best way to protect ourselves from new variants that could arrive. U.S. rolling out COVID-19 booster shots to all Americans as the Delta variant surges, overloading hospitals across the nation with cases quadrupling just in the last month alone. The plan calls for an extra dose eight months after people get their second shot of the Pfizer or Moderna vaccine. Doses could begin September 20th. People who got the single dose Johnson & Johnson vaccine will also probably need extra shots, but officials say they are waiting for more data before working out those details. There's a lot to break down on this subject. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Randy Meyer. And I'm BC O'Neillieri. The calls for boosters comes amid signs that the vaccine's effectiveness is slipping. But it's common for protection from vaccines, not just the COVID-19 vaccine, to decrease over time. Fox 9's Hannah Flood joins us now to explain more on that. Hannah? Hey, yeah, today the president said those booster shots, as you mentioned, could be made available as soon as September 20th. And today I talked to an epidemiologist who explains why a booster is recommended and why it's common. One of the reasons medical experts are recommending a third booster shot of the COVID-19 vaccine is because they say its power to fight against mild forms of the virus seems to be waning. But they haven't lost their power against the things we care about the most death and serious illness. Dr. Frank Rame, an epidemiologist with Alina Health, says it's an important distinction. The vaccine still seems to be keeping people from dying or ending up in the hospital, but because, like many vaccines, the COVID vaccine does not contain a living version of the virus, boosters are necessary to keep people from getting seriously sick. Immunity produced by vaccines that are not living tends to wane more than immunity produced by live weakened viruses like we use for measles, mumps, rubella, for instance. That's the case for a lot of vaccines many of us already have. For example, this is the list of vaccines kindergartners in Minnesota are required to have before entering school. It includes five doses of the tetanus shot, four doses of the polio vaccine, and three doses for hepatitis. Dr. Rames says while boosters are important, people should not panic if they're not able to get that third shot exactly eight months after the second. If anything, we're doing this earlier than we had to. So if you lose a month or two or five, it's not a big deal. Now, as for getting that third shot, Alina, for example, says they'll reach out to people just before they reach that eight month mark to schedule a time for them to come in and get that booster. Now, I also asked Dr. Rame if people had bad side effects, negative side effects from that second shot, if they'll have those side effects for the third shot. And he says there's just not enough data on that, so we'll have to see. BC, back to you. All right, Hannah, thank you. Strongly recommended but not required updated guidance from the Minnesota State Fair on vaccines and masks coming today, with opening day just a week away. Fair officials are urging face coverings indoors for everyone and also in crowded settings outdoors, especially for those not vaccinated. The fair will not require proof of vaccination or a negative COVID-19 test. The Minnesota Department of Health says anyone at higher risk for COVID-19 may want to avoid the fair. For those planning to go, MDH is encouraging Minnesotans to protect yourself and others. They are recommending people get vaccinated, wear a mask, and getting tested if you have symptoms, and staying home if you are sick. So